For more than 70 years, the Sports Car Club of America has been organizing both professional and club racing across the USA. For the amateur field of club racers, the runoffs are their national championships, and this year they're being held at the storied home of the Indy 500. Being at Indianapolis Motor Speedway is just like a dream come true. I'm a kid from Indiana. Uh, I grew up in Munster, Indiana, and I came here as a kid, watched the 500 for years, and getting to drive here was a dream come true. Uh, it's awesome being here at Indy. I was here racing quarter midgets when I was five and six years old, and it's great to be back here on the big speedway running the Formula 1000 cars. Never raced here, but uh, watched the Indy 500 on TV multiple times and uh, always had it on the bucket list to somehow get to this track, and here we are. In recent years, the SCCA has been holding their runoffs at the great U.S. racetracks, and this has meant record turnouts from across their 114 regions. This year, almost 1,000 competitors. It's not a course that's used regularly by SCCA or any of the amateur racing, so nobody really gets a chance to run it, and this is, this is a big deal. We have over 1,000 people here this week that are gonna be running this course for the first time. Differences between watching cars racing at Indy on TV and actually being here, it looks huge, but in, in real life, everything's a lot smaller, a lot tighter. Walls are a lot more close and personal than you'd ever imagine, so pretty different perspective, but pretty cool. We would come every year to the 500 with my dad, with friends and family. And actually where we turned in today for turn one is where our seats used to be. So they're now gone. And I think of that every time I turn in turn one. It's just one of the happiest places for me. With 28 classes all needing track time before qualifying and then the individual finals, it's been an epic undertaking by the SCCA. Probably one of the biggest challenges here in putting an event on of this scale is typically when you run at Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Indy 500, you have 33 cars. We have 984 cars right now. So to basically paddock uh, that, that number of cars, you use Google Earth, you use analog tools, you use technological tools, you use a lot of uh, sweat and moving people around to get them in a lot of tight places. Many competitors do all their own work on the cars they'll race. It's a passion for the members and usually brings extra reward when the cars run well. We do it all ourselves, small team, just you know, me, my sister, my dad, friend that helps out. So all the preparation, preparing for the weekends and all the maintenance repair, you know, when things go wrong, are all done ourselves. And um, can be a little time consuming, but at least you know when something goes wrong, you know who's at fault for it. Which, <laughs> for better or for worse, <laughs> no one to blame but yourself. All these guys build their own race cars. They spend hours and hours in the garage, put them together, and then we come out here and uh, beat each other's doors off for uh, 30 minutes. So it's, it's uh, very competitive. In the Formula 1000 category, Alex Mayer had blown two engines during the week, but in the true spirit of the SCCA, he'd been lent a third by a fellow competitor, and the grateful Pennsylvania racer took full advantage. I would race here when I was six or seven years old in a quarter midget, and that was in the parking lot over there. Now we're on the big speedway and we're winning it again. There could be only 28 winners at Indy, but for the rest of the 1,000 competitors, the experience of close racing on an historic track against the best in the country made for a memorable week. It was the most fun I've had racing in a long, long time. I came in second, so I didn't win, but I tell you what, I had more fun coming in second than I have winning some races. I told the guys after I got out of the car that I was actually giggling part of the time during that race going across the bricks and going down the straightaway that all these other uh, famous race car drivers have had the chance to do. That's a pretty neat deal. I think the best thing about being at Indy was just being at Indy. Everyone came into it with you know, no prior experience, so we were all learning as we went, but just really cool to be able to come to some of the big historic tracks like this.